Jesus opened doors, even through great tribulation, even through the, the, the wise of the enemy, even through the plot and plan of the enemy to stop them, but they succeeded. So we have the, 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 the we have the, the platform, we have we have the example, we have we have that heritage that people have overcome in the past in spite of the challenges and still accept their open doors and make progress. So you and I equally have the power and the privilege to do that. So don't allow anything to tell you that you cannot make it. Don't allow any situation you're going through now to overshadow the glory of God that it will be revealed in the future based on the open door that you're going through, based on the open door that God has shown you. You have to have that thinking and insight that the future is bright, but I must pass through this challenge, that this what the enemy is throwing to me, I must go through it and I will still overcome. You must have that mentality that there are examples in the Bible and even in the contemporary world where people have gone through in ministry, in business, and actually overcome and became successes. So in no way should you allow whatever is an adversary to stop you. That is the point we are making. For the fact that the door is already open, is already open, what is required is for you and I to walk through it. So in walking through it, you might need to deny yourself certain rights and privileges that you normally would want to enjoy, your comfort zone, you know, things that you already used to do. You may have to leave those things so that you can access that open door. The open door may not come at your own depth. They may not come pleasant. But God requires you and I to still go why he is the one that is behind us. The open door was not by the devil, it was by God. So if it's God, then he will see you through.